Hi, David Fine here with Keys Moz. Welcome to the Wacky Worms series. Today we are focusing on one of my childhood favorite butterflies, the Atala butterfly. Super beautiful bug. Check this out. There is no mistaking an Atala butterfly. When you see one, you'll know exactly what it is because there is no other hair streak in all of the United States that looks anything like it. It's the largest hair streak in the state of Florida. Uh, and it's a hair streak that doesn't have those tail-like appendages on the hind wing, typical of most hair streaks. The, the, the hind wing is rounded. Atala butterflies are black, jet black, and they've got on the underside, the ventral side, they've got these beautiful iridescent blue uh, spots all on the underside hind wing and a big red spot and the, the abdomen is red and when you open up the males have their their forewing is like a like a very uh, beautiful deep rich greenish blue like turquoise color and they've got these bluish turquoise spots on the uh, outer margin of the of the dorsal hind wing um, females a little different again they have the hind wing they have the blue spots along the outer margin but uh, they, they lack that deep, rich green uh, color that pretty much mats the forewing like the males do. Instead, they have like a blue band and females can be a little bit larger. The Atala butterfly, or Eumaeus Atala, Latin name, uh, lives only in southernmost Florida, Cuba, and I believe in the Abacos, maybe the Bahamas. Uh, they feed on Zamia or Kunti plants, and it's a native Florida plant and uh, cycad family and it's very specific to that one type of plant if that plant doesn't exist butterfly is not there there are a few reports of the Atala butterfly living in the florida keys i think we've seen one in north key largo but and that's because they brought in some ornamental kunti plants and planted them on the roadside here in the northern keys we saw one but haven't seen one since few reports in the florida keys but typically not known as a butterfly that lives in the Florida Keys. So the eggs are laid in clusters on the undersides of the leaves or even on the, the cone. The cycad plant has like a cone and uh, the eggs can be laid there as well, uh, but only in the new growth. The caterpillars, when they hatch out, they are gregarious in nature. They stick together all the way through to the pupa and they actually pupate together, which is very unusual. Uh, usually by the pupal stage, gregarious things will kind of crawl off and pupate in solitude, but not the Atala. In fact, the Atala almost from start to finish is almost like it's advertising to all of its predators. Hi, I'm here, I'm poisonous, and you can't eat me. <laughs> uh, caterpillars are bright, bright red in coloration, and they've got these two rows of yellow spots. They sit right on the tops of the leaves, very obvious, advertising for the world to see we are here. The pupa are like little red, uh, reddish brown jelly beans. I mean, and they, they pupate like in big clusters. So it's very easy to find large numbers of Atala butterflies pupating in clusters. Adults are one of the laziest, slowest butterflies you've ever seen. When they fly, they kind of just fly, no kidding, just like this. <laughs> and and uh, they're, they're not afraid of anything. I, I, I think they have very few natural predators and it shows by their coloration, it shows by their habits. The Atala butterfly in the 1970s was actually thought to be extinct or at least extirpated from the state of Florida, probably because due to habitat loss and because the Kunti plant was over harvested for its rich, starchy roots, which are actually edible. There weren't any colonies that were known to uh, Lepidopterus back in that time until the 1970s when they started planting Kuntis as ornamentals and all of a sudden the Atala starts showing up uh, down in the Miami area. And today, there are a dime a dozen. You can go to any park in South Florida, it seems like, that plants Kunti plants. Most people plant the Kunti just so that the Atala butterfly will come. And if you plant it, they will come. Eventually, you will have Atalas in your yard if you live in South Florida and you have this plant. But I think they have no natural predators because once they show up, they have a big problem. They eat themselves out of house and home. <laughs> they, 
they just continue to eat and reproduce until there's nothing left. And it's probably one of the reasons why they're actually considered pests a lot of places and people will actually spray them because they'll decimate as many kuntis as you can possibly put in your garden. They will de completely defoliate your kunti plants eventually. But don't give up because the kuntis grow back quickly and the atalas will return quickly. But that's about all the time we have for today. Uh, Atala butterfly is a gorgeous bug. We're super privileged to have that bug as a backyard bug here in South Florida. And really simple to get them to show up. Just put the plant in your backyard. If you plant it, they will come. Uh, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up. When you subscribe, hit the little bell. That will give you notifications so that you'll get all these videos when we put them out. Uh, we're gonna get you more videos like these, teach you how to enjoy the butterflies and moths uh, of South Florida in a very intimate way. So until next time, enjoy South Florida. Let's get out there. Thank you.